Hello students, welcome to Cinema Academy YouTube channel. So today we have brought for you a very, very good question, a very, very nice question on coordinate geometry topic. So let's first read the question and then attempt to solve it. So the question says, from an external point P, pair of tangent lines are drawn to the parabola y square is equal to 4x. If theta 1 and theta 2 be the inclination of these tangents with the axis of x, such that theta 1 plus theta 2 is equal to pi by 4, then which of the following options represents the locus of the point P? So essentially, it's a question where the idea of pair of tangents is involved and we have also been provided with the concept of angle of inclinations. So let us first quickly recap these two concepts. For Eric Koenig, the pair of tangents is given by a general equation t square is equal to ss1. I'm assuming all my viewers are already aware of what t, s and s1 stands for. Now, we have also been given the angle of inclination of these two pair of tangents or the two tangents which basically constitute the pair. So we know that m1 is equal to tan of theta1 and m2 is equal to tan of theta2. Right? So now theta1 and theta2 are related to each other by the fact that theta1 plus theta2 is equal to pi by 4. Okay. So can I say one thing that if this is true, then tan of theta 1 plus theta 2 would actually be tan of pi by 4, which is 1. And this further expands as per the compound angle identity of tan theta 1 plus theta 2 as this. Tan theta 1 plus tan theta 2 divided by 1 minus tan theta 1 tan theta 2. Right? So in short, what is given to you as the locus condition that m1 plus m2 divided by 1 minus m1 m2 is equal to 1. Let's call this locus condition to be C because this will be of great use to us while finding the locus. All right, now let's move on to get the pair of tangents equation by using our general equation, which I am showing you with this cloud. So let us first assume the point, let the point P be H comma K because without this, we will not be able to write our T and S1. So what is T when I'm assuming the point P to be H comma K? So T expression will be Y, Y1. In this case, our Y1 is K minus 2 X plus X1. In this case, it is H. So this is our expression for T. What is S? S is Y square minus 4X. What is S1? S1 is k square minus 4h. Now, let us put this in our general form of the equation of the pair of tangents. So, t square is equal to SS1 will become, will become yk minus 2 times x plus h the whole square equal to s. S, this is our s. S1, S1 will be k square minus 4h. Okay. Now, for a pair of straight lines, let's take a theory again over here. So we know that for a pair of straight lines, ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. We know that if m1 and m2 are the slopes of the lines constituting this pair, then m1 plus m2 is minus 2h by b and m1 m2 is equal to a by b i hope my viewers are already aware of this concept which is present in the pair of straight lines topic so we'll be utilizing this idea to actually get the locus how let's see so i have to first write down this equation that you see on your screen circled with a box in terms of our x squared xy y squared and of course the last three terms are insignificant for me so i will not be wasting time finding that out so let's find out the coefficient of x square from here so coefficient of x square will be 4 okay what will be the coefficient of xy so please note that xy will be formed from only the left hand side term over here which i am showing with a square braces in the base so this will give you the coefficient of xy as minus 4k right and what about coefficient of y square coefficient of y square will come from k square 
on the left side and from the right side you have negative of k square minus 4h okay rest of the terms we need not write because they will not contribute to our solving of the problem so now from here we end up getting the equation of the pair of tangents as 4x square minus 4kxy plus 4hy square plus some terms which are of no significance to us so m1 plus m2 from here would be negative 2h which is negative of negative 4k by b which in this case is 4h and this becomes k by h on simplification and m1 into m2 m1 into m2 would be a by b which is 4 by 4h which is nothing but 1 by h now let us use these in our condition number c right so i hope you all of you remember the condition number c which we have on the top here m1 plus m2 by 1 minus m1 m2 equal to 1 so let us use it there so m1 plus m2 is so let me rewrite that down first yeah so in this condition we are going to put this so put this in this condition so we end up getting k by h divided by 1 minus 1 by h equal to 1 which on simplification becomes k by h minus 1 equal to 1 which means k is equal to h minus 1 or further you can write it as h minus k minus 1 equal to 0 now time to generalize let us generalize here because we are looking for the locus so on generalization we end up getting the equation to be x minus y minus 1 equal to 0 so this is my locus my dear friends let us see which option matches with this that's clearly option number c that's clearly option number c so i hope you learned a lot of concepts through this simple problem solving please do like subscribe and comment and press on the bell icon to get further notifications thank you so much